that you're undeessing. Undeessing some sock. Yeah, dude. They just call it crazy. You're just like ripping. Today's the VIP package plan. Way ahead of you, sir. Does that mean a shoe review today? I'm not reviewing shoes. Oh, never. I thought you said only when you like them or something. Okay, why would I review two old shoes? I didn't know. So we... I'm gonna fucking review the nice cakes real quick. I didn't know we could do a re-review. Well, thank you. I'm not gonna sit down and talk about a shoe. Right That's fine. I don't care. I could care less. Maybe cool. now and then. You know. Now and then, yeah, maybe when I feel like it. When I'm like, hey, no one knows anything about the shoe. Here's this. Here's that. Since no one knows anything, they're all just be like looking at it, and being like, well, I don't know what this is for, but here's the shoe. Because all I really did was rush out and get it first. I didn't actually. I don't give a fuck about it, and I don't fucking know anything about it. I just want to get it first. Hey, see it. It's first. First, you click on my video, like, subscribe, suck a dick. That's all these people fucking care about. So no, I'm not. Everyone's like, you getting the butters early? No, dude, like, I don't give a fuck about getting this shit early. Yeah. Gives a fuck. Like, yeah. nothing's even coming out that it's, maybe if it was a new model, you know? Yeah. Like, it was, oh, I got these V3s early, like, they're not coming out for a year, but contributing to the fuckery that is backdooring shoes by buying them early is not helping the game at all either. People are acting like it is. They're like, oh, your flex comes with a cost. It's like terrorism. Yeah. Shit comes with a cost. Yeah, the yeah. whole game gets affected. It's like buying weed. You're supplying terrorists. To yeah. Other what's that? What's the jewel they said that was the, oh. the precious jewel that was supporting terrorism? Tanzanite. Yeah. This motherfuckers are out here slinging tanzanite. I'm like the Navy SEALs of the sneaker world going against the Osamas. Oh shit. I like that. I got nothing against anybody. I don't know who did what. I'm just saying. Yeah. We're all murderers. <laughs> Every last one of us. Um, this is where you should cut to the nice kicks in your hands. Hi. These are the hippie nice kicks. What do you want? I'm outside. Is the door not open? I'm pretty sure it is. Let's go check, homie. Oh, it's not open. You can't go outside. Here you go. Peace. Oh, he's right back. Go out there. I don't got time for this game. It's fucking hot out. Go. It's a hundred, dog. Go. We're not going anywhere. It's hot. Cheerleading shit, dog. Yeah, can we open them? If you want to. Oh, what do you do? <laughs> Mega nerd is not rejoicing. What? Why is this angled like that? I'm still setting it up. No, no, you're not. You're unwrapping it. Look at your angle right here, dog. You're Wait. crazy. Look, your head is cut off. No, Wait. no, no. Don't touch shit. <laughs> I'll go on the vlog. You're trying to do this full on. Yeah. Can't see yourself? Here, let me help you. This is what you got. The fucking headless. You're like, uh, I don't like to show my face because if I show my face, people will know that I'm a fucking 30 year old man unboxing cheerleading cards from the 80s. My voice has been changed. You're like the fucking burgos can of you baseball blur, cards. Can you blur out my face? Yeah, I can blur out your face for the rest of the episodes this year if you want. Oh, just. <laughs> Wait, am I good to go? Yeah, you're good now. Okay, here we are. Oh, all right. There's quite a few. Wow. The Reebok Performance Team. We have Julie from Minnesota. This is in. your mom. DM us because I really like to do like a reverse yeah, we spider want... web tracing. Janice, Minnesota. Hey, Janice. What are you doing later? I will be pursuing a career in sports marketing. Message to the fans. Love your pets and take good care of them. Like to, let's, we're, we're gonna Google some of these ladies How later. How many cards are in there? About 12, there's a lot. Oh, great. Yeah. Jennifer Thomas from Philadelphia, part of the Sixers dream team. Nice. Jennifer's gonna pursue a marketing career and hope to make the Sixers dream team. Dreams do come true, oh. if you only believe. Yeah. This one, four year veteran is a Washington Bullets cheerleader. Special jacket though. She reminds me of Lisa from uh, Saved by the Bell. That jacket is fire. Deanna Marie Fabiano from Philadelphia. Broadway, here I come is my motto. My most recent performance was at the Trump Regency Casino in Atlantic City for the 1991 Miss America pageant. Yeah, Marjorie Twiggy Black Washington. She's the cutest one so far. Oh, that's your favorite. I haven't seen them all. So. You dude, some of them, some of them are pretty brutal. Huh. She's cute. Susan Thompson from Philadelphia. She's semi cute. She looks like crazy though. She looks like a stalker for yeah, sure. Look, this girl be blowing up your phone, dog. Face. Oh yeah, she can blow my phone up though. On the bullets, we got Lisa Michelle Randolph. Carrie Smith from Washington. She looks like she's straight out of some southern city. Let's see where she comes from. Virginia Tech. Okay. <laughs> Sharon Bosch. There she is. Where is she now? We're gonna find Sharon. Oh, Bosch. I found her, dude. 
There she was, there she is. Sharon's out here marketing. She made it. Yeah, she made it. Fuck yeah, Sharon. She does events and catering. Shout out to you. Shout out to you, Sharon. Hey. Let me call him right now. Listen, Sharon, I'm taking a look here at your card, and I just want to say congratulations on making it. You know, you set your dreams, you put them out there. This is essentially you carved your intention into stone. And today I found your placard in the wild, and I just wanted to check on you, and I just have to say I'm delighted to know yeah. that you've made it. She's like, I just got to Morris yesterday. My kids hate me. Dude, this is so Speaking good. Hate, what did you do to your phone? Is this like a special uh, graphic you have at the bottom? What? Black oh, no, yeah. Dude, Susan Thompson is now vice president of cheerleading for the Green Bay Packers. How about that? I think these cards are very telling of the future. Now, let's see this girl, because she's busted, so. Carrie Smith may have failed. It's a very popular name. We ready with this blunt? I don't even know why I'm still talking about this. I don't either, this. yeah, I'm just chilling here waiting on you. <laughs> I don't know why he's gonna continue to do this, but I'm gonna let him. Carrie Smith, now working for Western Carolina University official. Probably acting male racist, too. Look at her, I can tell. I knew it. I knew you are from the South and you're still working there. Chill, bro. Chill. I found her Twitter. She only got 170 followers. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm on it today. <laughs> Carrie. Gary, I'm gonna hit you with a follow. <laughs> Cause then all you're really waiting on is me to build the website and that'll only take a day. I can even do that today. I can do anything fast. Yeah, you talk fast, that's for sure. Here's all my ideas, here's the numbers, here's this, here's this. Fill your head with this, Teddy, 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 Teddy. Oh, shit. He's like, it's calling your name, Teddy. Let's go. Bro, let's go right now. My you gonna eat dinner in Houston? I will, my sister's coming. So I wanna fuck her and tell her we're in Houston. <laughs> there he is. Um, yeah, I, mean, I think we sent all we really need to send. Yeah. What do you think Scruff will turn this around today? Yeah, that's all we need today. Nice. Mm. Hey, bring a toy, sir. Bring a toy. We can play inside, you know. You're crazy, You're crazy, man. I'm sorry that it's 100 degrees outside, but it's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> From the good people at StockX. This is for everybody that thought I was tripping when I sold my used pairs. It's me another pair of breads, too, because my breads are ruined. Oh, nice. Oh. Fresh pair of breads. Mm -hmm. Thumbnail like, I got them early. Yeah. I got them late. That's what I'll, yeah. I'll name it. I got them late. I got them early compared to the restock. I got them early if it's, there's no restock. I'm just. <laughs> no. I hold it up and forget to see as the other one. <laughs> That's amazing. Those are amazing. I don't care how old they are. Every time you open them, it's like. Oh my! Come on, Bob. Yeah. Too good. So now you saw Soul boxes coming. Yeah, they're sending me. You saw those other Yeezys coming, right? What? The Belugas? They, they were fake. The ones that got sent. Oh. Okay. They canceled those and all the Pharrells from Asia, which is funny. Which I've seen some people get the twelve and a half. A 12 and a half from the Chinese release. So um, they must exist, I assume, but I, I still don't know. I mean, I haven't seen in real life a real pair. So. I'm going to do a StockX sneaker con app comparison. Not right now. Oh, I got it, isn't it? I'll hit you in two hours. The website will be ready. All right. That's how I move. Nice hat, bro. Thank you. It's crowns and, crowns and hearts. Chrome hearts. Chrome hearts, dog. Just remember, your heart's made of metal, dog. Yeah. Go home and tell your girl. Damn. Right, the business part over. Earn is building the site right now for the membership. It's gonna be twenty dollars. Oh, it's be twenty dollars a month for the membership. Basically, it'll be a recurring payment, and if you're signed up for that, you do not have to worry about drop days. You get exclusive friends and family colorways, exclusive friends and family designs. Uh, there's just a lot of things that you you know it, it will make it worth the twenty bucks. Stickers, first access to other shit like when we do pop-ups, etc. So that'll go up soon, and then we'll get more details of that as it unravels, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You sign up, you get emailed before the drop. Working on that today, we got it pretty much done. Working on a bunch of new stuff that I wanna make. A lot of organizing this week. A lot of 
moving things around and changing things. There's gonna be a lot of different sticker packs coming. I really like stickers. I grew up, skateboard stickers hold a very dear place in my heart. Always love stickers. Like one of the coolest things that would ever happen to me as a kid is my best friend growing up's brother worked at Deluxe, which is where real anti-hero, Spitfire, Stereo, all these places were under at the time. And then he would send back product and he'd always send stickers packs. And we'd have like 30, 40 stickers and I would make the craziest sticker collages ever. So I love stickers. I always have and I'm really gonna amp that up and uh, weekly basically I'll probably the logos you guys are seeing I'm working with my homie scruff we're making taking some, my art and making new logos for each vlog uh, they will probably repeat at some point who knows each week I'm gonna make like a sticker pack off of those designs that'll be available to buy um, just to keep it interesting also not so that it's not a whole bunch of money all the time you know I don't know how much sticker packs will be but you know if you're spending 10 or 15 bucks it's way different than having to spend like 45 50 just being able to offer cool stuff for everybody basically so, and there's be lots of cool shirts and all that but we're working it all out and then uh pretty much it and then i'm gonna draw and do stuff for the day keep omar occupied i guess since he just wants to go out over and over So that's the day. I'm not gonna get this uh, finished. It's not gonna get finished today. I have to go in and really do the hard work is the Reaper, so I'll try to finish that tomorrow. I may work on it tonight, I don't know. That is pretty much my day. I, everything is shipped, the Jewel Cry shirts are shipped. The Pride shirts, the last ones leave in the very morning. Mystery bags should all Finally, the last one should leave tomorrow. That's pretty much it. You shouldn't be waiting on anything. No new drop scheduled for this week. No new drop scheduled for next week. Pretty much it, really. Like, for a while, you'll hear announcements. The only other thing you have this week, probably even tomorrow, I'll go ahead and put up the Friends and Family website. So you'll be able to sign up for that, get in early, and then that way you'll be guaranteed all the stuff we talked about earlier. Um, but the only other thing that I really want to talk about today and say thank you to is StockX, because earlier you guys saw me open these and uh, these breads that they got me. Boom, boom, boom. I've worked with a lot of people in this whole thing since the sneaker stuff happened, you know, just uh, exposure, whatever you want to call it. I've worked with a lot of people and nobody did I know personally beforehand. Everyone I've met, I've met through this. I've been to a lot of events. I've been flown out to places. I've been secretly hit up by big brands to tell me to talk about things they don't want me to tell anybody that they're telling me to talk about, which I didn't do, but I'm just telling you. The most honest people that I've dealt with, the most supportive people I've dealt with, the people who've tried to push me to do more, and give me more ideas who really just like supported me is StockX. You know, like one time I flew to LA, I was in LA. I met Josh, the owner, for breakfast. We had a great breakfast. By that night, I was hanging out NBA All-Stars who I didn't know. I, mean, I was like around Blake Griffin and all these all these people. Only person's name I really remember is Blake Griffin. But all these people. I was flown to Detroit after that. I went to, been to Detroit many times. They always take care of me. And today's no different. You know, they sent me out three, technically three shoes that they knew that I've destroyed and they just, they just sent them to me. So, you know, there's all kinds of talk about which service to use all the time and I've done videos for them I've done all kinds of stuff for them and this is technically another video for them because they gave me a gift fuck heavy with StockX like I I know there's the new I know that there's another apps there's other services to buy shoes from but consistently StockX is who I actually really and truly fuck with um, I don't buy shoes at SneakerCon I don't think that I ever have and I don't buy shoes off Goat I maybe bought one pair uh, didn't have a great experience with the first pair that I ever bought there yeah like 
like I just don't really use anything else. So it's really cool to me. Start off, I started off using it as a business, we became friends. Now they really are like my family and they support me and they help me. And they were the people that were gonna sponsor a majority of the tour. And they're also the people that are sponsoring what parts of the tour that are left. So those dates that I do decide to hit up, um, which I can go ahead and tell you now, LA, Houston, New York, probably somewhere in the South so my mom doesn't freak the fuck out, Chicago, somewhere else. There'll be a couple of spots, but those places, uh, StockX is still gonna take care of for me. And they still take care of me. They send me shoes that, you know, you can't get for less than hundreds of dollars. So um, shout out to them. I love them. I endorse them fully as a company. I endorse them fully as friends. They've never looked at me and been like, you're not worth this or you're not worth that. So for the questions that people ask why I'm so aligned with them, it's because I actually believe in them and uh, they obviously believe in me. I just wanted to end the video on that because I'm super grateful to have such a huge family around the world. I don't have like the closest relationship with my real family. So uh, this has been amazing to me. It's been pretty much every awesome to feel connected. It's awesome to connect and um, I love y'all motherfuckers. So, all right. What's the day the day I let them all have it? I know I've developed more than a habit. Ignoring a few friends, born a little bit backwards. Boring me to death, can't flex with the masses. Passing like fashion. Thought